So I'm going to go lefty. So we're looking for the sequential throwing pattern. When you look at a great pitcher, come back up to third quarter. Okay, the, the sequencing goes one, two, three, four. That's different than old school how I was taught when the arm comes down straight. One arm movement and then the elbow breaks. That's kind of how everyone used to teach it. But the sequential throwing pattern happens one, two, three, four. So you'll see this move. Oh, I'll step off the back of the feet. Can you guys see that? So the longer she can hold the water here, and the deeper the angle yeah. she brings into pre-release when the upper arm stabilizes against the body, the more she's have has to release at the bottom. Okay? And just to give you the quick science if I can help myself, we look to decelerate the upper arm, stabilize it against the body, bring in the best carrying load possible, boom, and release it. You can really feel that with the water bottle. If the kids are rotating too soon or closing it off, you'll see the water bottle start to close this way. Now a changeup is exactly how I throw a changeup. I want to kill my speed and get my thumb in. You guys see change up mechanics right away, right there, and here's fastball or any, any moving thing. See the difference? So just start doing this with me, you'll do something with this Forgive me, I'm, I'm not lefty, but I'm taking it. Okay, and you feel the arm picking together, and then the weight at the bottom. The cool thing is now we can start to actually me, right? Ask her to amplify the sound, she has to start working from the ground up. So her hips have to start to activate. And what we're looking for is just not a kick. I know this is another lecture, but when you activate your hips, we're thinking about bringing power from the ground up. So watch, watch my legs. Okay, it's like I'm throwing a punch, I'm swinging back, I'm throwing an overhand. It's the same movement. Okay, so watch them start to throw this harder. 